Welcome back, everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about Japanese Wise Warriors. We're going to be looking at trial decks and the lack of signatures. A new set has come out with said lack of signatures, and it doesn't look all that great. How is this going to affect pricing in the future and the product sales? Now, before I begin, if you have not seen the Uma Masume cards, I definitely tell you to check it out. Here is my video on that one. I show you all the cards, give you my opinion about the lack of signatures in there. Luckily for us today, we actually have the pricing to back that up. Before I start, I want to let you know there is a current giveaway, right? This is the quarterly giveaway because of people that use my TCG player link. So again, thank you all those people that actually do that. If you go to this video, show me your anime shrines for a live review. Live review happens on Monday. You need to submit your entries by Sunday morning. More info is in that video. It's going to be a lot of fun, so definitely submit as soon as you can. If you can't enter that giveaway because you're not a resident of the United States, well, you can still send me your shrine just to have that shared with the world. Now, Uma Basumi Trial Decks, there were two of them. This is your Trial Deck number two. This is your Trial Deck number one. Inside of there, what you're going to find are 15 triple rares, two OFRs, and one SR per Trial Deck. Inside of the booster box, it does actually have signatures 70 to be exact. So if you like any of these horse girls, do check it out when it comes out next Friday. Now, if I did my math correctly, you know, this is some mental math here, but what I did end up seeing is you get one of each OFR, roughly three of each triple rare. And obviously inside of a trial deck, you're going to get an SR every time. So unless these are actually real, my math wasn't wrong. This looks really ugly. If you add these together, so this is trial deck number one and trial deck number two. I'm gonna just show you these pictures real quick. So right here is your trial deck number two. The, the OFRs look fantastic. Let's be real here. They look really amazing. And this is your trial deck number one. I definitely would like to have that trial deck number two pants version, but you know what? doesn't have signatures that's okay uh, the pricing matches what it should be actually worth but the problem is the case price right if you go out there and try to buy a case of this stuff you're not going to be getting your money back and i know right away someone's going to go out there and be like you don't need to get your money back this is a card game it should be about fun and that's true it, everything should be about fun it shouldn't be about money but reality is there's people that open this stuff and resell it right like these these websites wouldn't exist outside of that notion. They wouldn't be just opening it so they could take a loss so all of you can just have cheap cards. That's not how this works. People are opening this to make a somewhat of a profit and still exist. And there's many ways to do that. Play sets, shiny cards, all that good stuff. But when you have cases like this where... You add up all your shinies, right? So here are your OFRs. Imagine opening this case. Like you pay uh, $600, $700, $800, and your two big hits, your two OFRs from trial deck number one equates out to about 10,000 yen. And then you have this other one over here that equates out to about 100... 13,000 yen. I almost switched to USD, but 13,000 yen, which is not going to get you anywhere near that case. Unless they give you like two of each OFR, maybe that gets you there. But if you look down below, your next big hit inside of here is going to be your triple rares. And even though some have sold out, some are actually expensive, that's not going to be enough for you because you get about three each of these. Uh, I will say something else, that Trial Deck 1 is not as popular as Trial Deck 2. If my math was correct, this place then opened two cases of Trial Deck 1, and they also opened five cases of Trial Deck number 2. Again, if I am wrong on the, the drop rates, then let me know down there, but this is the thoughts that I'm having on this, right? So number 2, definitely way more popular in that way. Now, why this is going to be a problem in the future is just because right now, it's just the start of Wyshorst trying this out. 
Uh, I think one of the things that I like collecting personally myself are trial decks because trial decks are really cool, right? Anybody that's ever seen a trial deck from Y Schwartz, it's nice. You have that little picture, or not picture, you actually have the shiny foily card right in front and then something very memorable. Uh, the trial deck, I actually really enjoy. Maybe it's a little too big. Maybe there's too much plastic, whatever. But at the same time, it does look like a lovely thing. It's a nice piece of seal. And what's going to happen with all of this is people aren't going to buy massive amounts of cases anymore to rip it open to actually get some of these said nice looking cards. Uh, what they're going to do is maybe just buy a display, maybe just buy two or three just to have. But outside of that, you're not going to have that. So in one way, someone's going to be like, that's a good thing, right? Because uh, we don't want to have all that excess product just sitting around. But if I flashback to two years ago where people were saying that you know it really sucked that people didn't carry this stuff because you can't get it and why Schwartz didn't get reprinted as of today you're going to have a reprint of Azure Lane for JP but they're not reprinting the trial decks and that could just be because there's a lot out there or whatever the reason but imagine a world where we end up having no signatures inside of this and people don't see the value on it so come two three years from now when you try to find an Uma Masume trial deck, you might not be able to do it. Licorice Recoil, you might not be able to do it. Heaven Burns Red, you're not going to be able to find it just because people know the value isn't there. And that was the start of when this all started snowballing here with the lack of signatures. We do have other sets coming up that are going to be seeing no signatures as well. So uh, what could they be? I mean, like this, Spy Family. Spy Family is not going to have any sort of signatures inside of here. You also have another big one, which is Bochi the Rock. Where is she? There she is. There she is. She's not going to have any signatures inside of here. It is foil stamping design card. Right, so you're not gonna get that in there. What is going to happen to those products? Even though Bochi the Rock, people like that anime, is it going to do as well trial deck wise when it comes there? Are people gonna buy cases of it? I highly doubt it. So we're gonna have a come to Big B moment and we're gonna try to figure this out. What do you do? What do you do with these trial decks? I've always said, uh, when I've talked about this, that the reason they're doing it is because it costs money to get these signatures and it probably depends on product type. Uh, so booster packs versus trial decks. So that is why Uma Masume most likely is having 70 signatures inside of the booster box, booster packs, where trial deck wise, they didn't get a single one because it all comes down to what product you actually put it into. Now, flashing over to Little Sister Rebirth for you. I know you all hate it and you wish it would die. It's not dying anytime soon. I mean, if you haven't looked at Blue Archive Volume 2 video coming soon on that, it is very expensive. So no, Rebirth for you is not dead. But what is inside of the trial decks? Sometimes booster boxes have it too, are serial number cards. And I know that is not what you want to hear based uh, depending on who you are. That the way out of this is serial number cards. It's part of a solution. It is not your full solution on what needs to happen to replace serial number cards or make trial decks valuable. But this is one part of it. So I would say, suggest, if you're out there, Bushy Road, why Schwarz, and you watch this video, maybe consider adding some serial numbers. So people go, what, what, what is that going to do? The evidence in shadow right here, you can see. 14,800, 29,800, 29,800. So even these aren't like crazy prices, right? You're going to be like, well, Big B, that's not really all that humongous or anything like that. No, it's not very. Uh, that's why I say again, this is only one part of the solution. It's not all of it. But this does help bring value back into the actual set. Now, what do you do? Do you make it out of 100? Do you make it out of 50, 25, maybe one? I know I've, I've heard lately that the number one actually uh, makes people go crazy and nuts and try to buy a bunch of this stuff. I don't know if you do that. But 10 sounds like a good number, maybe 20, maybe 25. I like 25, 25 is a solid number, but maybe that's too many. And that's what you gotta play with. For trial decks, that might be too many. Let's go with 10. Let's just try that out, see how that feels. So Liquorous Recoil as well. If you take a look at the serial numbers, I know they're all blacked out just because people bought it all. You didn't even get the pictures on here. 49,800, 
39,800, 39,100. And I'm assuming Yu Yi Tay definitely did have a, one of those for sale. I was pretty sure I had to go back to my video and check. But you can see here, the serial number is really expensive. This is one of the newer sets, uh, the Slime Diaries. You can see here with the serial number is 14,800. Again, not humongous, but at the same time, it's not going to make people feel as bad about them. And the serial numbers look great. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. There is a Rebirth for You Facebook group, and people have posted those serial numbers on there, so check that out. So lastly, I leave you with this. I know the serial numbers, uh, you might not like it, but something needs to happen, right? Like, if you, you cannot have trial deck prices like this. You can if you don't want to sell product. But I know why Schwarz and Bushy Road, they like selling cards, as that is why Schwarz is business and part of Bushy Road's uh, components on there when they talk about uh, their company stock information, right? If you go out there, a big part of it is the TCG industry. So they would like to sell cards. So anybody thinking that they want to sell less trial decks and push more people into booster boxes, I think they're just trying to save some money. Again, this is my opinion. I could be 100% wrong, but unless someone comes out there and tells me uh, what is actually happening that is what i'm going off of they want to sell some cards and the way you do it is by adding some more value so take a look at your own company right rebirth for you and just maybe maybe take some ideas from there i just don't know what's going to happen with spy family you have a humongous ip versus maybe lack of collectability but these cards look awesome Let, let's just let's just go with this it looks awesome. It'll be in the trial deck. There are four of them, so maybe in that way, it'll be just a little bit more rare because you're probably only going to end up with two out of four of them per case. And if you like that, your if you like the family uh, going on over here, it may just be worth something in the very end. Well, I guess there's one last thing that you could do to make this awesome. Just make every card, uh, every foily flashy card inside of the trial deck that is high end like sp i'm not talking about your triple rares just make them super overpowered and make people want to add that into their deck so that they can um you know foil it out max very it out right that's not what you should do i think to push your product but that is one way to do it so what do you think everybody let me know down in the comments if you have any questions at all for me, again, you can check me out right here. You can email me, Twitter me. Uh, there is my TCG player link. Like I said, if you want to buy anything, it goes to monthly slash quarterly giveaways. And you can find me out on my anime list under there. So as always, have fun, be happy, and don't spend anything outside your budget. Have a good one.